Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for being here today. If you are new, my name is Roxy Maride and it would really mean a lot to me if you would click that subscribe button before you leave so you can become a part of my life and you can help me grow here on YouTube. So for today's video, I'm very excited because I've had these products since December, since before Christmas, and I'm so excited to finally be filming and telling you guys what they are and all that, and we'll get to that in a sec, of course. But. So I'm so excited. I've had this since December and I'm barely like using them and I'm gonna talk to you guys about the products. So I don't know if you guys know Jackie Hernandez. She is a YouTuber. She is a Spanish beauty vlogger, beauty influencer. She has two channels here on YouTube. She does do vlogs and she does do beauty videos. So if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I will go ahead and leave her channels linked in the description box so you guys can go check her out. You know, Google her if you guys like want to put a face to the name. So her name is Jackie Hernandez. She is a really beautiful woman. Her family is so adorable. They're so cute. Her videos are always like top notch. I absolutely love her. So she created a makeup company a little over a year and a half maybe two years. She created her own makeup line and it's called Jadez Beauty. I've always wanted to try her makeup. Since it came out, I've always wanted to try it. I just never actually purchased any of her makeup. So in December, she had like a really good sale. So I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me just buy a couple of things. So I did. So I have those products in here in this little cute little gold bubble wrap envelope and I'm gonna share them with you guys. Um, I am wearing the eyeshadow today and the lipstick and the highlight palette. So we're just going to get on to the video. So I did pick up four products. She was having a sale back in December where if you purchased a palette, her palette that she just released, um, you would get two free lipsticks of your choice. So I got this and this was $40 and I did purchase the OMG Glow Palette and this was $29. I believe the lipsticks are $17 by themselves and the Ice Cream Shop Makeup Palette is currently sold out so I don't know how much it is individually. It's either between like $36 and $40 but it's sold out right now but they do have the lipsticks available and this palette, the OMG Glow Palette available on their website. I spent a total of $74 in these products, which is good because just these two alone would have been $40. If you guys want to see swatches and all that, head over to my Instagram page. I will have swatches. I'll probably include like just finger swatches really quick on here. But if you guys want like in-depth swatches, I will have them on my Instagram and my Instagram is Roxy Maride. So go follow me if you are not following me. I am trying to be a little bit more active on there. This is how her OMG palette looks. This is the packaging for it. This is a sleeve, but it does have Jdes right here and then hashtag OMG Jdes and then this is how the back looks and this is cruelty free her company is cruelty free which is awesome so this is like a little protective sleeve this is a little protective sleeve. You can toss it, keep it. I'm keeping mine. I don't want it to like get ruined. So it has her face on here, which she's so gorgeous. Of course, half of her face. And then it says OMG and this is like gold foiled. And the back, it's just plain. So it's called the Oh My Glow palette. So it does come with four highlighters and the names are Halo, Aura, Pink Cielo, and Snow Dust. I think that's how you would say it. Aura, Aura. So Halo is a golden highlighter. Pink Cielo is more of like a rose gold highlighter. Aura is a champagne highlighter. Snow Dust is more of like a pearl highlight color. I'm just going to really quickly just finger swatch them for you so you can just see them really quick. Really quickly just swatch on the back of my hand. Today I did use Halo and I did use that like on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow and right along here. I haven't really played with snow dust but snow dust is probably a color that I would use like in my inner tear duct because I just feel like my skin tone is too dark for me to be using this like on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow. It's just like too bright of a color for me. So I would just stick to Halo, Aura and Pink Cielo. I really don't like rose gold highlighters but I'll like use it once in a while. I wish it had a mirror. It doesn't have a mirror it's fine it's not going to make me hate the palette i still love it the way that the highlighters feel are so soft and so creamy like butter like they're just so nice and smooth but i just wish that it had a mirror but it's okay it's not like a deal breaker so this is the palette this is 29 dollars, and it is available still on jdesbeauty.com Okay, so and this, I purchased it in a bundle, like I said, so I paid $40. This palette is originally, I think, $36 to $40. I'm not 100% sure because they are currently sold out on her website. So this is called the Ice Cream Shop Palette. It's so beautiful. I am wearing this one on my eyes right now. And this is her neutral palette. It says neutrals on the back. 
and this is how the packaging looks it's absolutely amazing it's so beautiful like she put so much effort into this packaging it's beautiful the back it has like cute little cones with like floral details it's absolutely beautiful this is also a protective sleeve so you can toss it or keep it to protect the eyeshadow palette so this is how it looks it's pretty much the same but the back it just doesn't have the little cones with the roses on it so this is how it looks and this is the inside it's absolutely beautiful and the names are absolutely amazing they're so gorgeous i like that this one has a mirror on here which is awesome it does come with 10 eyeshadows it does come with six matte colors and four metallic colors i put dulce de leche as a transition shade i put cajeta which is this one as like a outer crease color and then i used peanut butter on my lid and on the lower lash line so if you guys want to see swatches or like a tutorial on this eye look just comment down below going from top row from left to right we have horchata dulce de leche chocolate fudge cajeta cookies and cream and then on the bottom row we have cotton candy rompope tamarindo peanut butter and black raspberry and then the formula like it's just so pigmented they don't feel chalky this is my new favorite like i absolutely love this palette so i definitely recommend it so i only got two lipsticks because obviously it was you get two lipsticks with a palette and these are liquid lipsticks and they are waterproof liquid lipsticks and the one that i am wearing right now is called love me which is the one that i have on but i just love her packaging also this is how all her packaging is some of the like models or like the pictures change it depends which lipstick you get and this is the lipstick that i am wearing which is called girl by it's this beautiful color and then the next one is called love me these two lipsticks are new to her collection i think they came out the same time that her eyeshadow palette came out i'm not 100 percent sure but i think they did this is how the lipsticks look it's just a, a regular they kind of remind me of color pop but it kind of does have like a little angle to it so let me just give you a quick swatch so this is love me and girl by Pink one is Love Me and then the bottom one is Girl Pie, which is the one that I do have on my lips right now. I don't know why, if it's purposely meant to be like that. Girl Buy one doesn't smell like anything, but the Love Me one smells like cupcakes. I don't know if it was intentional. I don't know, but it smells like cupcakes. It's, it smells really good. So these are supposed to be waterproof lipsticks. They're not super drying, but right now that I did eat like a little protein bar, I did see some of the lipstick flake off. Right now, like I have like super dry lips. I don't know if it's because of that or because I didn't like prep them, like moisturize them really good, but they don't feel drying right now. And then I also did hear a lot of people saying that some of her products smelled like chemicals. They don't smell like chemicals to me. Mm -mm. Smells like makeup. So I spend around $74, which is not bad. I'm happy with all my products. In the future, if she like starts creating new palettes, because the fact that this palette sees neutrals. So I don't know if she's planning to create like different palettes. Um, if she is, that'd be so amazing because I would definitely want to buy more because these eyeshadows, the color payoff is amazing. There's like very little fallout. This is probably one of the best eyeshadow palettes that I have used, honestly. Like honestly okay and i don't know how to do like really good eyeshadow but i feel like i did a good job so that is it for this video i hope you guys liked it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video